scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all Of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory fall. This is a cry from a generation that is desperate for revival. Let it cover all. The let it cover the north. Let it cover the south. Sing. Let the weight of your glory fall. Lord, we want to see revival break out in cities and nations. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Sing it as a desperate one. ago as a desperate communication of the spirit it was a desire to see the fire of God it was a desire to see authentic apostolic revival break out in cities 
is a very very prophetic song these are deep songs these are the kinds of songs the bible calls the songs of moses songs that stem out of a bowel of hunger they are not songs to make money they are not just songs that you communicate to while away time it's a song that you sing when you truly have passion for the things of god can we sing this song one more time with revelation let the weight of your glory fall Desperate communication of our desire for true revival. That's all, just a very simple song. Cry say, Yahweh. the veil. Let the veil be rent into two and let us see deeper. Holy is the one who reigns. Holy is the one who reigns. Worthy is the one who sits up fire. Mabala basila mapre shalakare. Sheba kabra dila manakata. Sika parekatai. Come on, just press and let's worship for a while. There is a spirit of worship. Adonai, you're the Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. This is our travail tonight. Let your kingdom break in our heart. Adonai. Adonai. Adonai.
Adonai Lamb of God. Adonai is the Lamb of God. Sing tonight, you are worthy of our praise. You are worthy. of heaven are open mightily over this place the hunger of a man can draw the presence of God and when he shows up you are changed as we bask in your glory oh God let us be changed we are the uncompromising remnant that will not bow we will travel until we see the glory of God arise upon this nation and upon the continent of Africa. We travel on behalf of Nigeria, the firstborn of God in Africa. We will not sell our birthright, but we will contend to represent authentic apostolic Christianity of Asia. We strive to see your kingdom come. This is our desire, Lord. Beyond everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just pray one prayer and say, Lord, let your kingdom come. 
Let your kingdom come. Let your glory be revealed. Let your kingdom come. And then the eyes of the blind will be opened. When his kingdom comes. And then once again we will hear the authentic sound. Of the shofar of the spirit. It will rise above every noise of religion. And every noise of tradition and falsehood. Hallelujah. Jesus, we seek only one thing, not the building of a ministry, not the fame of men of God. We seek only one thing, that we become envoys of your kingdom. Men who are furnished by the fires of the Spirit, Men of understanding and power. Men of light. We give you praise. Tonight I pray. That the bread of the spirit be broken. We contend for the hallowed bread of the spirit. Show us deep things, O oh God. Cause our eyes to be opened. Reveal your glory in strange dimensions. Open us up, O oh God. Let the seals be broken. Let the scroll be open. And let our eyes see. Show us what the Father saw. We contend for the ancient part. We refuse to be deceived. Let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us. And may we become mighty men. May we become mighty men. is an end to this pursuit we are not chasing after shadows we are not um, we are not just trying to do the things that we are doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in him not just what he can give not the prosperity not marriage men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give hallelujah We are the hope of this world. You must believe this. Don't ever think you are little. For in the days to come, even the, the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men. Gross darkness will come upon this earth. It's already happening. But the Bible says upon you, it says you will arise and you will shine. Not only will you shine the light, you will become the light. 
Hallelujah. The secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation. There is nothing else that can make a man grow. The Bible says that when God made man in the Garden of Eden, the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the garden. They were not eating it for hunger. They were eating it because it had the capacity. It was called the tree of life. It had the, the capacity to give life. And that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God. So as we receive the word of God, there is an unveiling of the reality of this life, this Zoe life that we talk about. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed. People did not know that this was how far God would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city hallelujah there's an army rising now there's an army There's an army rising up to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. There's an army. We are this mighty army. There's an army rising up. There's an army that is rising up. There's an army We're rising up to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi the prophet started speaking and he said, There will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. He says, Shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know that the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin? It just tells us this, this wicked system, this she goddess called Jezebel, who was married to the king. Jezebel was a witch. She was not a wife. That's why she reappears in Revelation again. In the book of Revelation, Jezebel reemerges again. Hallelujah. The personality Jezebel was an adumbration of a system. Hallelujah. And the Bible says during her time, the prophets of God suffered so much. The prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God. Suddenly, a strange man without origin just emerged. The Bible says, and Elijah the Tishbite. From where he came, we don't know. We don't know who, where he was taught the things that he knew. The Bible says he was a representative of his spirit. Elijah represented the sword of God. And the Bible says when he showed up, he showed up for one assignment. To conquer that she goddess. And afterwards he left. Who is this strange man? Because we see him reimagine again. Jezebel is still in revelation. Elijah is still in revelation. Where did he come from? Did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite. 
rose up as a cry the prophets of god were suffering only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called obediah no prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of god and the bible says in response to their cry one great prophet elijah the tishbite a single man who terrorized the system of jezebel and brought her to her knees and the bible says before the day of the lord elijah will come back again but he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation are you getting my point and is in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the old testament nobody understood nobody knew about the training he was it was a strange manifestation the bible says elijah the tishbite and this is the making of elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come hallelujah and elijah the tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system i need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of elijah is to come in with a dimension of god that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why i raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the elijah spirit hallelujah thank you jesus tonight i have i've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge hallelujah but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives we have said this is a season of light and brothers and sisters let me tell you there is a level of light that you carry you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is what we are training we are training you to become a light a light you will be so bright the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop Till we lose just like him. God is birthing something strange in these days. God is revealing something new in our midst. He won't stop. He won't stop until we lose just like him he won't stop he won't stop first timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith 
and will begin to give heed to what? Deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. Very interesting. It didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons. Doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons. Verse 2. Speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron. Verse 3. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. The last verse was for for every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving. Let's just stop there. Hallelujah. We are examining three things tonight. Tonight, we are going to be studying the scripture. Hallelujah. Everybody say, I receive light. When, when our eyes are open, we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper. Let me tell you something. Listen. Do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers? It's not the statue of a man or woman. Are you getting my point? It's not your English. It's not your degree. Hallelujah. But the degree of light. The degree of light. When you see the spiritual structure of a believer, you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light. Are you following me now? So, at the Mount of Transfiguration, Jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was. Are you getting me? It was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it. And every time we come before his presence, by revelation, we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light. And the degree to which we conform to that light is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the Bible says in the latter days, verse 1 again please, that men will give room to deceiving spirits. Who are these spirits? Where did they come from? What is their ministry? Please pay attention brothers and sisters. We are in a day and age that if you lack spiritual intelligence, you will die. Are you following me now? We need it as a matter of urgency. In every generation, there is always a contention of light and darkness. There are people who just go around as social beings. But there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation. And we happen to be that generation. So it's important for everybody to pay attention. There's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ. Listen, please. Hallelujah. And the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep, it calls for immediate response. Hallelujah. If we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God. If Elijah's do not arise, a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God. Are you following me now? There's a lot going on in the body of Christ, the continent of Africa, and especially our dear country, Nigeria. Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa. We are the model to the the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality. Hallelujah. And it's important 
that we preserve the things of the spirit there are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah it's called apostasy you know what apostasy is apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word a departure I preached a message I think it was last year or year before last the apostate church you can get it and listen a departure from not listen listen please I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine I mean a departure from the known patterns of God everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man are you following me now there is a pattern God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way it has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him so apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God and the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith what faith Christianity no 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 God never called us Christians what is the faith the pattern there is a pattern that our fathers followed they knew something that made them walk with God they knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them and there is a gradual deviation please listen to me the church in Nigeria is deviating fast and there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah because the few prophets of God who are left in the country are facing a lot Jezebel is is prospering on our pulpits in our churches across different places and the prophets of God the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until Elijah rises and that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of Christ back to pattern otherwise we are going to lose it and will miss it not just as a continent not just as a nation but as a people hallelujah say amen thank you Jesus Matthew 13 verse 25 Matthew 13 Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church Matthew 13 let's start from verse 23 or 24 let's let's make it 24 and another parable he put forth to them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed that man listen that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did it start? It started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. He began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eye is closed, there is no more light. No more illumination. There is no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept hallelujah while men slept when they began to intercourse with babylon 
when they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system when they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of god the bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits are you following me please and they started embracing the doctrines of demons and men slept and then the enemy came and did what so tears this is what is happening to the nigerian church there is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit and all of them are being mixed in our churches in our parishes in our assemblies and right now there is so much confusion it will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of god hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what appear that means when they sowed it it was there as a tendency but it had not yet manifested are you getting my point now a lot of people started ministry hearing the voice of god but they did not stay in the spirit for the holy ghost to keep walking walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like christ eventually as the ministry started expanding as the membership started expanding they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies that there were also tears that were growing verse 27 it says so the servants of the owner came and said sir did you not sow good seed in other words who gave these pastors this message where did this rema come from where did this doctrine these revelations that we have built ministries we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom the bible says they ask a question did you not sow good seed what happened on the way how then does it have tears 28 this is what made a lot of men of God think that what they are doing is right because in the wisdom of God and for the sake of we the elect of God he said no the, see he said the enemy has done this and the servant said to him do you want us to go and gather them that means should we start pruning he said ah in the midst of these tears there are genuine people they are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation so let them grow verse 28 29 now he says but he said no less while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of god and except the spirit of elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest 
and at the time of the harvest i will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what this is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so these men began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of christ and listen when delilah came to samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. But adventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for? Trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say marry me. She didn't say sleep with me. She didn't say give me money. Are you following me now? she kept saying samson tell me the mystery behind your strength all she was concerned about was his anointing because it was with that anointing he will conquer the spirit of the antichrist are you getting me she wanted to kill the source of his strength and she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes his hair and his strength that was why when she captured him the first thing that happened was his hair the second thing that happened was his eyes I need you to know that all these women you see in the bible they were not normal they were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense for instance why will herodias ask her daughter for dancing well she said make sure you tell the king that i want the head of john the baptist what do you do with head are you getting my point now there are many things that happen in bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation this is the error that many people have carried they have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate but the spirit of elijah comes dividing the word of god accurately hallelujah all through scripture 
we'll do a quick drive if it's possible as we as we continue and let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle the battle of light and darkness are you getting my point now for instance the bible tells us that before the coming of the lord again there will be a repetition of the days of noah did you read that in your bible what happened in the days of noah because you see when satan fell when satan fell there are so many things in my head now Let, let's just continue wherever we stop do you know what satan told the angels that made them to comply don't you think satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him are you getting my point now because of satan's access to the presence of god he had knowledge of mysteries and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made this manifesto clear in isaiah 8 uh, in, in 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 um uh what now isaiah 14 now i will do this i want to arise above the stars of god i want to be like the most high that was his manifesto but he deceived all of these people and when he was casted down he was casted together with a lot of other angels hallelujah and then when adam came i told you again that the garden of eden is not in the earth realm are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere the reason is look at the things that covered the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season help us lord help us lord help us lord where do we start from okay are you getting my story now and then when adam and eve when adam knew his wife and she gave birth to cain listen please satan thought that cain was going to be the person that god will use because they he knew that god would need a man are you getting me so satan entered cain are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time god when god designed family please listen and 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 ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when god designed family i hope you know that god made man the head of that family is that true that means any correspondence through god according to his structure should go to the man notice how satan changed it satan went to the woman 
are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people this is what the bible calls the devices of the enemy stratomai the greek word his methodology it may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons but the pattern is the same that means when you sustain the eye of prophecy you can detect him at once are you learning something please so cain is born and satan makes a bargain with cain and cain begins to manifest another spirit and then the bible says how that abel shows up and satan suspecting that god may use abel began to move cain to kill abel are you seeing why cain why will cain kill his brother see it's time for you to begin to study the word not just to get sermons but for spiritual knowledge ask questions why will cain just kill the, his brother what for are you getting my point now when cain killed his brother in a passage of time the bible says cain started building a city the bible never told us that cain was an architect what made him to start lusting after building a city it was the spirit of the antichrist are you seeing because god wanted to build a city and name it after his son so the spirit of the antichrist through cain built a city and named it after enoch his son and that was where atrocity started from are you getting my point now and then it got to the time of noah god suffered long with them when it got to the time of noah listen to me listen to me noah was a very strange man he was not just an old bald headed man noah walked with god are you getting me noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark the ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth it was a prophetic message are you getting my point now noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation he talked with god he communicated with god he understood the mystery of the flood and that was the reason why listen please listen listen when they came out shem ham and japheth there were eight people again satan started looking for somebody else to enter are you getting my point so satan entered ham are you getting my point point? and the bible says he saw his father's nakedness he did not just see his father's nakedness it's a coded word he saw into the secret of what noah was supposed to preserve why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants is that cost not too much just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to ham if you read your bible very well was that he was going to serve his brothers is that true now satan found expression through ham go to genesis 11 don't you, i mean you don't need to open it but go to genesis 11 what happened suddenly another wizard who was the son of Cush, who was from the lineage of ham are you seeing now a man called nimrod nimrod strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting i will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light 
has brought everything that is darkness to bear. Are you getting my point now? The problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together, it doesn't make sense. Listen, listen. I think I was talking to um, the, the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman. They came over to my place and I told them that I've been criticized for a lot of things. One of it is this faith thing. I believe in faith, but I've said this thing again and again years ago. That faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand. Are you getting my point? The true concept of faith is not just built on shadows that cannot be understood. I said it last week. No pilot sits on a plane and says, Passengers, I trust God that will arrive safely. I've never learned how to fly this plane, but you guys just sit back, sit back and, 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 and enjoy. There's Jehovah Jireh, there's Jehovah Sikenu, there's our banner and all of that. And then the people sit down and say, Hallelujah, let's just be confessing. We will arrive. We will arrive. Plane corporate. We are now at 3,000 feet. Nobody does that. Are you getting my point now? So, faith is not a mystery. It has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand. Just, you don't understand. Just accept by faith. Have you had teachings like that? God said it. I may not understand it. I don't care. I, want, I don't want to understand it. All I know is that Satan is the bad guy. Jesus is the bad guy. We are for Jesus. Let's win him. This is what Americans are, are shipping into Nigeria. And we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people whereas the bible says do not be unaware of the stratomai satan is not an idiot he has a, a strategy this guy stayed close to the presence of god are you learning something tonight so you see it, nimrod kush he said go to let us build a city build a city again the same city that Cain tried to build and then the judgment of Noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study Bible history please listen I want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft? Nimrod Kush, according to Bible history, was the son of Kush who married a woman called Samiramai. Are you getting me? And because, listen please, this is very, very important. Samiramai was a witch. These were people that were possessed. They were incarnates of hell. Are you getting my point? Envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of God. Samiramai killed Kush, her husband. Are you getting me? And Satan came and interplayed this thing. Satan came and made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom, he was going to make him Lord. He was going to be great. And the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of, of human beings. And then Nimrod married his mother. Are you getting my point now? So Nimrod married. Are you seeing how Satan was twatting the, the, do I call it the genetic code of human beings? Nimrod married his mother. Can you imagine? Now the son, I don't know what, what they are going to call the son now. Huh? His mother is still his grandmother. As ugly as it is, listen. This was the mystery of what began to happen to Nimrod. Nimrod was a hunter of souls. His job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself. Because in Revelation, when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with, it called the souls of men. Is that true? Is that true? There's no time. You see, God, this time thing, I wish like, I feel like busy seeing this watch. Praise God. 
you just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise god kai this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because i want us to get it praise the lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when Saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well. You remember that? Remember when Saul was king? Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers. Is that true? He frustrated them so much. According to scripture, there was only one woman that was left. One sorcerer. One necromancer. And the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated. Alright? It didn't use that exact word, but I'm just using it. When Saul deviated from the things of God, he went to go and consult her. Is it in your Bible? And when she met him, he, he, he concealed himself. And she said, ah, don't disturb me. Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person i want to show you how they use necromancy and when they do that they invoke that and the bible says she invoked in her vision she was seeing an old man coming and saul and saul told her i said who do you, do you see him tell me about his appearance and saul from and samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is saul and she turned she said ah ah are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did this spirit come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like mere men. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Diviners and different people. Let me tell you something that happened. See, most of these entities that you call, how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits? Have you heard that word? Disembodied spirits. What does that mean? That means that there are spirits that do not have a body to find expression is that true that means they are consistently under frustration jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate there is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body you cannot function here are you getting my point let me tell you how this demon started i hope we have time can i talk to you see the bible says listen demons are not the uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Listen. I hope you believe what I'm telling you listen how many of you have seen certain people maybe those who do a lot of occultic things when they leave their body 
they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body you know why because they must return the same way they left if you shift their body they are not dead but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying there are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm please listen to me i want to tell you some things that will bless you we said this is a year of light this is solid meat light that keeps you in command dominion will happen naturally you don't claim it light brings you into it are you getting my point we are we are demystifying this deity called satan once and for all so that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church listen satan led these demon spirits are you getting i mean angels now are you getting my point now this was what because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves is that true that means they can change state there are different kinds of angels maybe when we deal with angels we talk there is a northern army there are different there are messenger angels there are cherubs there are seraphs there are different kinds of angels now satan led a campaign and told these guys together with I've, I've, i said it the last time apollyon leviathan have you heard of all these spirits they were real spirits together satan didn't just do a loan it was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion and if it worked it would be chop by chop so all the demons that helped him are you getting my point now <laughs> when you read the book of psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him hallelujah are you getting blessed can we continue all right please make sure you are listening this is not let me tell you something with revelation if you get too used to it the devil can use it and kill you are you getting my point he won't kill you just by oppressing you he will make you so puffed up revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you but anybody who wants to talk to you you begin to break these scriptures and say let me give you a rundown of how everything started and then it's not help this is what is happening so we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence come at this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they call x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human one little boy called frodo that carried the ring a symbol of authority all the other kingdoms backed him up these things are spiritual messages these scientists through through zodiac and and astrology and all kinds of divination they can peep into spiritual things it's not that they know the future are you getting me how do i put it now help me look at me how many of you know which country is ahead of nigeria time wise what 
what is uk how can you say uk us let's let's just assume please listen we, we don't have time let's assume australia how many of you know that when australia is saying 18th we are still in 17th so that ability to peep ahead that's what happens in the realm of the spirit because of the regulation of times and seasons are you getting my point it, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us over. take me to the place the place you are that secret place take us Lord that's where I want to be take me to the place the place you are the secret place that's where I want to be let's rush error number one i touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but i just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way i want so i want to touch on the issue again messages from hell divine realms that's number one error that needs to be L listen to me i don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their covered shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where are you getting my point these are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons remember the bible says if god did not cut the time even with the elect can be deceived what kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true are you getting my point it must be a great deception so what is it the bible says or the people the story somebody just comes back oh i went to hell and then you print cds you print books now there are a few people who will trust their experiences very few as a matter of fact they were the initial people people like like um what's her name mary baxter and so on and so forth all these many things that they do now those people when they came back they even gave the cities free because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world huh but right now what we have is nonsense and there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things this is the result of sleep they invite all these people these these people and they come back uh, they come to pulpit and cry ah i went to hell i saw your mother i thought your mother died she gave me a message it's her name not jane you say yes my mother's name is jane i saw jane i saw jane she was crying in hell and she could talk crying have you have you seen a house catching fire have you seen the people inside listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirts didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell 
This is somebody that got born again. He was not up to three weeks and he seemingly went to hell. I will show you the mystery of what is happening. I wish we have time tonight. I would have shown you something powerful. It's the strategy of the devil. The people are innocent. Are you getting my point? Don't be angry at the people. They do not even know that they themselves are under deception. Paul says, I was caught up to the third heaven. That means there are other heavens. There is the astral realm. There are a lot of other realms. There are galaxies. All of these galaxies and planets. I hope you know some of them have inhabitants. This is the mystery of aliens. This is the mystery of aliens. There is a lot of story we don't know in the earth. They just gave birth to you in the middle of history. Is what they taught you from social studies to what again? Social science. History, government. And then you read political science or whatever it is. And you believe you know the world. No, there is a lot more. There is a lot more. Hallelujah. There is a lot more. There is a lot in this earth realm that we have. There are portals in this realm. There are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings. They are moving like you. They talk. You've eaten with some of them in the restaurant. They are not pure breeds. These are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming. I read an article as far back as 19... I have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground. Is that true? They went underground. And they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people. And there is an altar in the middle. When you stand in that altar and talk, they will hear you everywhere. No mic. Verified scientifically. Don't you know there is a world under the earth? Philippians chapter 2. That every knee is not just talking about hell alone. What have they not told us, brothers and sisters, that is responsible? I will show you how this applies. So that you will see how your family got into it. Your innocent father from the village was just moving around. Nothing missing, nothing broken. He entered into what he didn't understand. Look at what a lot of believers are suffering in today. And one of the error, one of the error that I wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws. Many of us have, listen, listen, and I don't say this to criticize. There is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message. I've said this thing again and again. Please don't be offended. I'm just telling you the truth in love. There is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out, it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things I will explain to you, you will never be afraid of death again. There are things I will explain to you, you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance, you will understand. Who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down? And later you say in the name of Jesus and all of these kinds of things, we will explain it. When you understand this, I'm telling you, you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation 
when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down i want to cough i want to no no it's not it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see that's why if if i deliver dosing for instance i lay hands on her and she rolls 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 and stands up listen and there is no light do you know why certain deliverances are so easy it's not because the man is powerful the demons are mocking the man he has no spiritual intelligence they just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once as soon as the person goes out they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered this is why you find out that there are many churches and men of god struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance there is a balance he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them but my only trouble is what people call word is not what god is calling word because their word is not healing their word is not delivering that means it's not the word look at me ella is a fair lady if i tell you ella is coming to see you expect a fair lady tying something in her head with with a ribbon or what is that thing you see that are you getting me if i suddenly decide to come am i ella if i tell you my name is ella this is how many people's revelation i'm sending the word it will do this right now it's not doing it and the bible says if it is the word some things should happen so if it's not happening it's not the word it may be scripture the word listen the word is not just this are you getting me because until the apostles came there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god he said ye are clean through the words that i've spoken to you that word can clean you that's what he's doing now so divine revelations let's just look at one scripture luke 16 let's settle this issue once and for all please can we look at just one scripture we may not be able to touch the honestly there are three issues i thought we'd be able to talk about okay we are there there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple royalty and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day 20 and there was a certain beggar named lazarus listen every time jesus mentioned name it was not a parable necessarily it was a real experience you understand in jesus's parables he described men by what they did not their names which was laid at his gate are you seeing the contrast now it says full of what source verse 21 and desiring to be fed with the crumbs so on and so forth 24 okay no 23 i saw something i'm looking for there ah we've gone far can we go to 22 let's start from there and it came to pass that who died that's lazarus right lazarus died and was carried by the angels to abraham's bosom that's another issue there hallelujah and the rich man also died and was buried so two of them died they've now left the earth let's see the drama that happened 23 and in hell so a definite place hell is that true he lifted up his eyes being in torment and seeth abraham afar off all right that's abraham's bosom and i'll tell you why and lazarus hey i had a revelation brothers and sisters that opened me up do you know that unlike the teachings we have been teaching that abraham could not give birth because he was impotent it's not true abraham slept with hagar did she get pregnant what is the impotency about him this was simple logic 
I said, come on. Ah, is this not the Abraham where I say it is the deadness of his body? And this, this guy slept with, with uh, Hagar. And Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan in that place. See, when I show you these things and as we explore, you will see may God help and redefine our Christianity. You will see that Jacob was not a thief. Jacob was replacing what happened between Isaac and Ishmael. You see that? That thing that looked like that's why it's not called God of Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. It's called God of... Ab didn't, is God blind? Didn't he see Esau? It's called God of Abraham, Isaac. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seared Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. All right, 23. And he cried and said this is the man now in hell father abraham have mercy on me and send lazarus that he may dip the thing dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for i am tormented in this flame um that flame is not just fire like you know because i hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here so what kind of fire will torture their spirit body it's not just the kind of your fire here spirits can walk through this fire are you getting me this is a strange kind of fire it's a fire that causes thirst when it destroys you it not only are you going through pain but it makes sure that there is thirst it can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst and it's very frustrating look at this guy he didn't say let him send um something to quench the fire he was asking for a drop of water and abraham said son remember in your lifetime you received good things this guy received evil but now he's comforted and thou art tormented 26 now divine revelation please listen and beside this there is a gulf between us so that they cannot pass here and there and there we'll talk about this another time hades abraham's bosom and so on and so forth 27 then he said listen i pray thee therefore father that thou would they send him back to the earth are you seeing now send him back to the earth to my father's house so let's see see let's walk with what the bible says is that true do you believe the word of god you believe is the final authority and you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy so let's examine the word of god 28 for i have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment so what was his request please come back to the earth with divine revelation abi go to my family and tell them ah i just came back from hell if they hear you their hearts will melt and they will change i don't want them to come here 29 what happened abraham said they have moses and the prophets let them hear them in other words it is not god's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to inhabitants of the earth abraham was saying listen this is not a normal route of god's dealings with people to make them grow are you getting what i'm saying abraham said they have moses the law and the prophets they are they are preachers already they should listen to them verse 30 and he said nay father abraham but if one went on to them from the, from the dead he said what they will repent is that true 31 and he said unto them if they hear not moses and the prophets neither will they be persuaded though one rose from the dead listen so these teachings of people going and coming say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you 
many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they return he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again he has translated himself as an angel of light and he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light he was revealing to them a strategy he wasn't just telling them that satan has just fallen like that mm -mm. hallelujah satan saw that jesus could give his authority to men and they could legislate on his behalf he gave satan an idea of the next strategy he said why not i translate myself and come as an angel of light wear suit and start gathering these people rather than killing them let me use them so jesus began to tell the disciples i'm praying for you immediately i've seen something that will happen satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light and he's moving around as elders in churches moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture these are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences paul now the apostle himself second corinthians chapter 12 please let's rush one error we have to kick out of the body of christ the messages the people bring notice listen the bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it i think it was mike that said everything god creates he leaves an imprint of himself if god gives you a word and is from him there will be something about his karagma on that word how many people tell me the truth have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings how many that you know there are so many people who have gotten into religiosity people locked up their businesses people packed out of school other people went somewhere people just killed a lot of things fashion designers stopped their businesses they are broke now they are suffering because they told them that anything anything at all oh if you see Yvonne, it came from the the marine power if you understand satan you know that he does not have the power of creation he has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created are you getting my point now I, I, you can everybody has his personal belief and all of that i'm not but i'm just saying the reasons people are giving there is only one reason why people are in hell rejecting the gift of salvation that jesus brings are you getting my point oh a man of god did this this water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out car hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that no sir 
hallelujah you have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth you see let me tell you something the army that god is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the bible talks about a man called apollos he was a learned man in acts 18 the last few verses and the bible says but you knew only the baptism of john is that true and then aquila and priscilla came they called him and they expounded to him more perfectly and he was humble enough to receive and then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently there are lots of people in the body of christ who are under bondage terrible bondage that innocently came but it's a product of the spirit of deception for instance there are many people who believe that if i let me use a lady come if i give this lady a hug more ah this this may be a problem i've done something i've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because i have to shift to that religious mold listen please i'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of christ salvation is personal your dealings with god is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peck and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those cabbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness i believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense a man of god comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings tearing his jeans sagging them i mean i'm not talking of a guest some a little youth meeting or boot camp this is the, the, the default he's the overseer of the ministry he comes with his glasses comes and all that is nonsense it's a spirit of seduction hallelujah a woman comes on stage and she's preaching half of the message the brothers are not following their minds are they are just struggling lord i will make heaven i need to grow this is another balance so let me balance it very quickly because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contend these things in the flesh are just telling people be as lawless as you can be that's a sign that we're out of the law there is a balance 
we're a disciplined army we're not idiots liberty is not rebellion hallelujah thank you jesus Second Corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4. Did I say? From verse 3 to 4. Shibala kata brende kasi baladaba. Verse 3. And I knew such a man, Paul speaking, listen please. Whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. For how that he was caught up into paradise and had what? unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what is that in your bible that means all these ones that people go have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation he tells them seal this is for an appointed time but now people come back with every message this is deception are you getting my point now there are a few people however who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word. And we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ. For such kind of people, we commend them and we endorse them. But even at that point, their word does not become the final, the final, uh, what do we call it now? This thing that they, yardstick. I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision. Are you getting my point? I've had a lot of visions. I live in the realm of visions. I can never run ministry just based on visions. Ask the leaders. Every time I see anything, no matter how authentic the experience is, the word of God must prove it, not confirm it. Prove it. Prove it. The Bible didn't say confirm all things. It said prove all things. If you are looking for confirmation, you will find it. You will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married. It's in the Bible. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak any language you want. The Bible did not say use the Bible just to confirm things. Prove it. Test the spirit behind it. Everybody now is looking for confirmation. So we get the revelation from all kinds of realms. That's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest, you see Bibles there. Because since it's Bible you want, they keep it there for you. When it's time to do the spell, they say, lay your hands on the Bible and swear that you will be faithful. And you swear, but they will still do their demonic things. And you will be convinced that because there was a Bible there, it was God. Because of this deception. You don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah. What do I talk about again? I want to show you something one other error in the body of christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws i said it everybody say it after me both inside and outside spiritual laws abound they exist they are real as real as physical laws look at me do you know why god did not kill cain when he sinned because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work are you getting my point and those laws will catch up with him are you following me now when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law it means it's operating by another law that shields it 
Are you getting what I'm saying? Curses are real. Yokes are real. Manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real. They are very real. Listen, these are spiritual laws. What light does for us is to tap into what Christ has done and exempt ourselves. Are you getting me? Let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray. That does it for today. Just one scripture. I want to show you a scripture. Psalm 64. Let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits. Every time I teach, it's always in my culture to try to bring balance. There is a lot of junk about deliverance, demonology, and so on and so forth. However, I believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding. Hear my voice, oh God. This was the psalmist praying by revelation. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Hmm. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That means these guys speak certain things. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. Verse 4. He said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not. Verse 5. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They, com they commune of lyingness privately. They say who shall see them? 6. They do what? They search out. Who are these people that search out? They go to an extent. Where did they write it? That they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families. Are you following me now? This is in your Bible. They search out iniquities. He said they accomplish a what? Diligent search. They are meticulous. When God opened my eyes to this, it surprised me. Are you getting my point now? Have you read that word? Blotting out every handwriting. So there are handwritings. Correct? There are ordinances. The Bible says they search out iniquities. Hallelujah. Maybe at another time I will continue this teaching of these angels that I told you. Because when they fell, listen, they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system hmm. they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship 
what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and it fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of god so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening hallelujah but it will take light brothers and sisters it takes spiritual intelligence during the monday counseling i was ministering to a lady and as soon as she came and i casted out the spirit and at once the lady just lay down and the lord opened my eyes at once and i saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit it was laughing and i said the lord rebuke you the protocol were here and the, the lady jacked back up somebody would have said thank you jesus and he just get up and say, ah, that's it and the demons will say kai men of god of these days they are not powerful at all say after me the light of god is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the holy spirit I become an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah 
this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the team will say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this it's just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ha ah, you bath yourself the child will say yes say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that Sam comes to see me and I just said I, I finished Bapi and Sam will say boy am I impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of God have come around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you heal, delivered, prayed for, and come. We testify together and receive greater grace. Do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately? And your Jerusalem is your family. Anyone who is not concerned about his family is, so, is a sign that something is wrong with you. Bishop, a pretty lady with nobody to marry her getting into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah praise the lord rise up on your feet let's pray i want us to take some time please pray as you pray tonight sudden things will begin to happen in your life please everybody participate in the prayer as you pray tonight something will begin to happen in your families you will begin to feel the spiritual shift the devil must give up on you this year and your family members hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues please instrumentalists help us hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues. Please pray seriously. Prayer is a spiritual law. It has nothing to do with convenience. You're not filled with the Holy Ghost. As we pray, let the power of God come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries. Please pray. 
Ambrosoto presco sekete lekete kotabalaba. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Rekete kete. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Rekoto prekete leba kapata kata bregele balada bash. Rekoto broska pakata kapata prekete leka maka presko prende kosteba. Every second the lebo kosho bregele balada ba. Mabrato skopa ikekea ekresko prekete leko jos maka prakata leko tof bregele balada ba. Make broske talia ba. Arise, arise. By light, by revelation, arise, shake of darkness, shake of darkness, reketeko prekete leketeka, pray and say I'm changing, I'm changing, my status is changing, reketeke lebaha, there's no more decline, I'm on my way to better days, to the life God designed for me. Hallelujah! The answer to the tragedy of my family is already unfolding. This age-long puzzle is opening. Rekete kete koko to balada bakada bara. Nambra kata balada bash. Rekete kere koso prekete. Come on, pray in the spirit. Activate breakthroughs in the spirit. You are praying out of the depth of revelation. Rekete kete kete prakata balada balada ba. Mam prakata prakete shekete. Rekata prakata balada bash. Rapo koso prakete. Rekete kebo shapariya ba. Mam prakete lebo koso prakete bosh. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Reke bosh ko prakoto balada ba. Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about the higher revelation. A proto so frekete kele bakari ba 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 ba. Repo so frekete ba la 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 bash. Rekate pos kapari la la ba la la bash. Nam broko to frekete sh. Elekete pos kompreti sh. Rekos kapari ya ta ba la 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 la. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life. Are you hearing me? You are going to say, Lord, by the light, whatever represents darkness in my life, it bows tonight. Lift your voice and pray. It could be sickness in your body. It could be a yoke of bondage. Satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permits him. Pray. Let light shine. God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus. Let there be light. 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 Prophesy. Light. Light to my family. Light. Prophesy. Light. To your exams, light to your academics, the powers that be, they must bow tonight by the force of revelation. Man shall not live by bread alone, man shall live by every revelation. Revelation brings life, it brings light, it brings power. Pray, Babylon is falling. That corrupt system, that secrecy of evil, that genetic code of wickedness, 
that is responsible for the life that people are living the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a road of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of Melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? You are going to mention every area of your life one by one. And you are going to say, Lord, the chains, they are broken tonight. Why we sing, play that song, break every chain. Many of you will be surprised at the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains i prophesy be broken chains of delay chains of delay chains of barrenness Chains of fear, chains of failure. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Chains, chains of pornography, chains of masturbation, chains of wickedness, chains of sickness, chains of joblessness, chains of failure. Chains of witchcraft Break every chain By the power of the blood of Jesus Break every chain We contend By revelation We storm the gates of hell We storm the gates of hell By the power of light We storm Babylon We prophesy your doom In our lives Babylon the great Falling Babylon the great Falling Hallelujah Two quick prayer points Hallelujah Hallelujah Praise the Lord Please pair yourselves into two The Bible says if any two shall agree as touching anything you are going to pray for your families right now this year we must carry our family members along listen listen pharaoh said i will let you go but leave the children and the animals moses said no way we are going together i can't go and allow my sister who will save them you can't go and let your loved ones die like that are you getting my point that prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this you are going to pray confront every darkness in your family you know the darkness lift your voice and pray the darkness of witchcraft and culture i contend come on pray there's no pretense in this place pray our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. We confront him, knowing that we have authority. We expose the doers of evil. We expose the doers of iniquity. We expose the spirit of death, the spirit of failure, that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death for barrenness for miscarriages for failure pray that limitation of poverty confront poverty that spirit that yoke that devilish device has been projected to your family that is 
responsible for your financial tragedy. Confront it. It must bow to the power of light. For the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend. Prophesy a recovery. Prophesy a recovery. I call back opportunities for my family. I call back. I call back their spiritual sovereignty. I call back their finances. I call back the joy. Hallelujah. One more prayer point and we're done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for Koinonia. We're going to say, Lord, let your light shine. People must be liberated. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. Listen. Hear me inside and outside. Every one of you who comes for this meeting, your coming alone is a miracle. Are you hearing me? If you know the powers of darkness, that if they had their way, would stop you from hearing what you are hearing. Ask the people that come for counseling. 90% of them tell you the morning for counseling, something stops them. Or an accident and they almost capsize. The devil hates light. He loves argument. He loves religion. But this year, we are storming the gates of hell. Are you getting my point? A fearless generation. There are things that must be recovered. There is a destiny, the soul of the nation that we must recover. But it must start from us and our families. This is why we invest time to pray. We know the kind of ministry God has given us. That's why we pray. Are you getting my point? That's why we have a strong and healthy prayer department. We are not carried away by success. We are not carried away by crowd. We are not carried away by rema. Listen, when God commits to you, the transformation of the destinies of men, you must take it seriously. We are going to pray for koinonia. We are going to say, light, shine. Shine! Let the works of evil be exposed. Let believers be empowered by the light of God's word. Let this place remain Bethel, the place of bread, the place of light. We will pay the price, whatever it takes, to access the depths of the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Ah. 
Let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you, leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be 
broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains. Overflow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. Every force of darkness. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, you will know now by the fire that falls on you. This is what the Lord is telling me. I'm about to pray that if there is anything that is demonic responsible for the challenge of your family, get ready now because I see a wind of fire moving from this place right there, outside. I declare it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of the Spirit visit men and women and families now. Hold on. Listen, I'm still praying. Listen to me. The Bible says that Paul was at a place, it was cold in the night, and they put wood together. When they said that a viper was there, but it could not be seen. But when they set fire on the wood, the fire exposed the viper. I declare Shabbatos Katadia by the fire of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every viper hiding in any family, hiding in any destiny, be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Be exposed now. Every viper, every snake, scorpion. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement i command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three
already going back. I'm looking at a lady, but in the spirit, I'm watching. I'm not saying you are a bad girl, my dear. All I'm seeing is a serpent. I'm not seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I expose that serpent now. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very interesting prayer. Don't mind me. Just allow me. I'm ministering under the anointing. I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit. And if it doesn't sound logical, don't worry. Just let me do the prayer. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes be judged. Snakes, serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. Serpents of the night, be judged. God is against you. Ebenezer, the helper of man, is against you. Snakes, I say it again. Be George, be George, no rest, no peace. Be George, snakes, be George. I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation fire consuming people's head and God is saying is restoration of lost glory that's what I'm seeing restoration something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads where are they oh God I stretch my hands now let the fire bring restoration 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 help them please Restoration, Kado Soda Patta. Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood it leaves you now one two three go 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 out of their lives in the name of Jesus out of their lives when the blood speaks nothing else speaks again Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. He may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is, seemed to backfire. When it came to money issues, he didn't go and pay like 
give the herbalist whatever it is. That's what God is showing me now. And I'm seeing that because of that, every door in that family, everything just closed. I'm going to pray. Lord, wherever, whoever represents that family here, whether inside or outside or online, I'm praying right now by the mercy of the God of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Rebecca, 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 like Becky, Rebecca, Rebecca, I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece and my younger brother and my cousins. They live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. What's your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ. This woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they... Are they this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Huh? You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Saminaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to end this captivity the lady that is going back tap her just tell her to look at me just look at me it's over now in Jesus name all of you are Rebecca my dear salvation is coming and anointing is leaving me to you and it's for your family from next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death one of you here um, I don't know which of you but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here there's one of you an anointing is coming on you um, the Lord is bringing deliverance right now you can't stand it it's, it's the power of God one of you an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance mama be free in the name of Jesus Christ there's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ, he, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ.
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, this, this mama doesn't speak English. I think she speaks Yoruba. She, she speaks Yoruba. Who is? Ejimi, can you come or someone? Just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough. You can whisper it in her ear. It doesn't have to be. It's your mother. Come. The Lord is breaking. The Lord is breaking a yoke. The yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire. Just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay. I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. I say it again. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay. Open your heart. Open your heart and pray. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. Any kind of delay. The spirit of delay. Be judged now. The spirit of delay be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Breakthrough for your family. God is bringing breakthrough. Mama, God is bringing breakthrough. Your son will tell you in Yoruba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's something on you that makes wrong people come to you. I have to pray for you. Are you. I'm looking at you. Very bad people come to you for bad reasons. No serious person. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to start bringing long. It's not, there is something, there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people. They will never pass you and go free. They must turn back. And this thing is destroying your life. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Look at this. So you just think it's just love. You are in love with a beautiful girl. It's not just love. Out now. Go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. I've not seen this in a long time. The Lord is showing me a map again. And this map is going to Kogi State. I'm laying my hands now. Kogi State. Let that anointing begin to find people within that region. Now I'm praying. You come within that region. Let the anointing find you. Deliverance for that region now. Shatakoto Seketea. Kogi State. Deliverance now. From any strange power. Any force of darkness. If you don't know your state of origin and you are from there. You can know it now by the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Anyone from that region. That's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now. I command deliverance now. The strong men within those regions. Let those people go now. Release them right now. The spirits of the grave. The spirits of ancestry. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. your hands we'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are 
there in almost every overflow there are representations lord jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by god to receive this anointing today ordained by god to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team. Two people worship team. That anointing, that grace. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. The anointing to heal the sick. You don't just pray for the sick. There is an anointing. I say it again. The anointing to bring healing transport the power of God from the throne to their lives receive that anointing right now hallelujah hallelujah mama come please please help her she's not running by herself it's under the anointing mama I see a new dimension of healing coming on you a new time just hold her a new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ ah, this mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised there is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness for barrenness I'm praying help that lady please in the name of Jesus receive that anointing mama in the name of Jesus Christ the grace the grace in the name of Jesus Christ the lord is asking me to stand in front of you just to stand in front of you that's the instruction i'm getting the light shines out of darkness god is removing something from your chest i'm seeing something leaving you I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, Your I talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, and you remember. prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin's sister. Your cousin's sister is missing. Yes. All these people that leave them. 
their loved ones are just find out once they are don't please if, if you are not related to the people don't please don't come here we're going to pray generally if you if you do it like that there will be chaos how about you yes, sir, my in-law your in-law yes sir what do you mean your in-law from any states okay all of you your loved ones are missing your loved one is missing who is that your younger brother yes, sir. missing since when 2014 2014 yes sir. they've not seen him yes sir you see how satan works how can somebody leave home for you to sympathize with people put them in your shoes imagine that your child left home and said mommy i'm coming and never comes back i'm prophesying to you three years your child went and said mommy i'm coming until today come mama give her the mic hold on mama your, your child is alive this boy you see are they twins or is he the same person one this yeah. is the only one what but happened to him he, he left school i put him in APU. he refused poly he refused he's busy taking drugs going about lying to people that his parents are dead all over at times they call me in the police station or your state but court that is arrested i don't know how they set him free at times you see our Honestly, let me speak towards young people. It's, it's okay, Mama. It's your only son. Your only son. One, 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 one. That's you all. Know? Yes. You, that's how you know it's a spirit. Because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother. And then the devil decided to, it, will the lady not marry and go? Huh? He's very intelligent. In school, he was in the APU. He left the school. And went away. What's his name? Awal is his name. Awal. Awal. Yes. Hi. We are going to pray. Like a month ago, from what God is showing me, this boy had problem with police. They were smoking. In the they head. were smoking Igbo. Police came and parked them with his friends. Drugs. This is what, Mama, let me talk to you now. I'm the one talking to you. I know. You see, when you see me pray about this, this drug, this thing, that drug is a spirit. It's more than we do respect to doctors and this thing. It's not just because of the physical thing it gives. I'm telling you, that thing is a spirit. If you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing, counseling is not the way out. There is a real spirit that must be casted out. Are we together? Some of you here right now, seated in this program, you love God, but that, what, what they, they call it, Kodin, again. Uh, mama, 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 don't worry. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money. They will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them 100 naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about you in this situation who is this my brother it's my mom's younger brother. Your for mom's over, younger brother? Yes, for missing. over 10 years, we have not seen him. 10 years, yes, we've sir. not seen him. Oh, pray. How about you, sir? My elder brother. You're the brother. pastor that came from Warrior. Yeah, okay. From Delta State. From Delta State, okay. Uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago. We really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. 
let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying. Everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know. But regardless of the case, for as long as they are on earth, we cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. May they be reconnected back to you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. Go back to your seat rejoicing. I hope someone is holding that person shouting me. My friend, come. You are doing your ushering work, but I will pray for you before you go back. Eh? Look at me. I'm looking at you. The Lord is telling me to tell you, August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you. Hold my hands. August 7th. Don't forget. Write it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this gentleman. You have revealed to me August 7th. I prophesy to him. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. May God change your life within that time. I'm seeing a ring, a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring in the spirit. I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife, I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit. Be free from them now. Ladies, be free now. I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the gentlemen, I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you. You go to bed and they come to you in the night. They try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals. Ay, 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 ay. Anyone under the sound of my voice, who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep, fire is coming on you now. Fire is coming on you now. Fire is coming on you now. 
fire is coming on you now fire is coming on you now I command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you Jesus this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me I'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from Benway Benway State look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while I was looking I just saw a spirit through her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes. Not to see nonsense around, to see something that is destiny molding. Now look at this girl. How will I stand and see someone there and call her out? Imagine that this lady went back like this. To her she will now say, oh God, so this is how you didn't locate me. Sensitivity, discernment is a priceless spiritual gift. Sensitivity. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. It comes by praying in the Holy Ghost. Not wishing. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You activate your organs. You have to pray for a long time in the spirit. For your spirit to be heightened. To be able to perceive spiritual things. Otherwise you will get into all kinds of error. Wrong perception. That you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear. You must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate. I just showed you the thing of ring now. Some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were. You see, it was something else, but it's a ring. This lady has bad luck in her life. Very bad luck. I have to pray for you. She just came quietly standing. This I would have shared the grace. And the dear lady will go back. And then it will look as if God is not in the place. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing you cough. I'm seeing her cough. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That she's beginning to cough. I don't know why, what is having to do with coughing. But in the name of Jesus Christ. Shatoskalabariandashibrasia. Let everything that speaks against you leave now. This lady swallowed something in the dream. Someone came to her, gave her something, and she swallowed in the dream. If you ever say you like this girl, everything in your life goes down immediately. I'm not saying she's a bad girl. Please don't get me wrong. I'm teaching her something here. She's not a bad girl, but this is the operation in her life. There are people, do you know why we minister to people like that? This is what sometimes prophets see, that if they don't get discernment, they go around saying, 
someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves God but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of jesus christ that devil of fibroid will pray for the sick shortly will be very fast at it fibroid is gone now in the name of jesus christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen i want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um ejimi ejimi and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that they can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name. Yeah!
stretch your hands here, everyone. I hope the requests are all here. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and someone should reach you. Please stretch your hands here and begin to prophesy. It's not a ritual. Declare that everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith and praying now. Make sure you are praying, prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf. And I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. Some of you, before this month is over, you will return with strange testimonies. It's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month. Between now and even tomorrow, may you return with strange testimonies. Whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered, may it be so. Whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ put your hands together for Jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word. Prophecy is powerful. It's powerful. It creates. I release testimonies to your life. Let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it. I release testimonies to your life. 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 The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus 
May the God that gives favor to men grant you favor. In the name of Jesus. For those in need of restoration, I prophesy receive restoration. For those in need of an urgent miracle, a miracle that has to happen on time, otherwise it will cost you. I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names. Let it happen to you. Even within 24 hours, let there be that miracle. For those who have never had an opportunity to laugh, every time you want to laugh, something comes that must force you to cry. I announce to you, the season of your laughter begins tonight. Where you have been despised, I place an anointing upon you. And tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here in ministry and things are not working, you are doing your best but it's just not working. Receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders. Anyone here in business, in the name of Jesus, you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing, everyone is crying from it. Could be patterns, could be whatever it is. I stretch my hands right now. And in the name that is above all names, I bring those patterns to an end now. For those trusting God for financial miracles, your miracle, the area you are trusting God is directly in the area of finances. I agree with you and I release my faith. May the God that prospers men surprise you. Everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person, return as a mother of joyful children. The anointing that makes things work. The grace for performance. I release that grace upon your life. Everything that is upon your hand now, I command it to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I announce to you, let July, from July 1st to July 31st, may it be named a month of strange miracles. Strange wonders. Strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of Jesus Christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my God show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ every area where you are trusting God to give you divine direction in the name of Jesus every spiritual mechanism that God can use to communicate to you I declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness I pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both i prophesy to you in the name of jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you i pray that god will put it in their hearts to help you i speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again, a new level of spiritual encounters. For some of you, I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book, not willingly, but by reason of the operation of spirit. The only time you open your Bible is in church or koinonia. 
right now fall in love with this Bible. Fall in love with the Word of God. An appetite for the Word of God I release upon you. Every kind of spiritual laziness. You say I wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning. Or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back. It's an attack. I curse that spirit over your life. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare peace over Nigeria. We declare peace over the north. We declare peace over Plateau State. We declare peace over Kaduna State. We declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately, desperately. You're saying, man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value. I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life. Hitherto, every time I hear about Jesus, I, I resent him. I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him. But from tonight's meeting, the Holy Spirit has convicted me. And I testify. And with all humility, I declare that I need him second category of people man of god i love jesus with all my heart but i know that i need a strengthening in my spiritual life things have gone haywire if god does not help me there will be no way out for me you belong to these two categories overflow one overflow two main auditorium i like you to walk out here quickly overflow three i like you to run to your projector stand very quickly i'm counting one to five and we're done one god bless you appreciate them koinonia they are coming two you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three. Please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace. To obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four. Please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord, 
you are my savior you are my king i hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your lordship i receive eternal life i receive the spirit of god and i declare from today until forever i belong to jesus i declare that i'm a child of god the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them i pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men let that grace lift them the grace that secures them let that grace secure them in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you you will move forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray congratulations thank you so much for this bold decision please i'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you